Wiggle, 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 this is an infantile reflex so let's dive into it and those who hadn't subscribed yet please subscribe the artistic doc channel as you can see the baby is placed in the semi upright position with flexed head on the examiner's forearm and hand. Then the head is allowed to drop suddenly at 15 to 30 degree followed by immediate support of the head. See again to the stimulus given to the baby. Now see the responses of the baby. At the first phase there is rapid abduction and extension of the shoulder joint and there is extension of the elbow and along with there is opening of the hands followed by adduction and flexion of the shoulder and flexion at the elbow and closing of the hands at the second phase this is the slower response as compared to the first phase now see again the response in 1x mode the onset of moro reflex is at 28 week to 30 second week of gestation it fully matures at term or 37 week and it persists up to 5 to 6 months. Now come to the abnormalities of the moro reflex. Moro reflex may be depressed, which can seen in sick neonates due to asphyxia, sepsis, metabolic problems like hypoglycemia, hypocalcemia, and in the narcotic effect. There may be exaggerated moro reflex which can seen in cerebral irritation due to trauma or in early meningitis. There may be asymmetric moro reflex which may be due to brachial palsy, fracture clavicle or fracture humerus or any other painful pseudoparesis. The other side shows normal response. Normally moro reflex usually disappears within three months approximately but in abnormal cases it may persist beyond six months hope you have enjoyed the video please do like share the video and subscribe the artistic talk channel